What's up, nerfers? It's time to make a primary for End War. End War is the summer's premier nerfing event. I need a primary. It's got to be absolutely awesome. I'm thinking kind of sanguine in nature. Bobo told me to start dabbing, guys. I immediately regret that decision. That was not correct. That is my bad. Anyway, so the primary that we're going to be building is this. My friend Alice Coat Duck up in Canada pilfered me a nemesis and sent it down stateside, which means that now I have a red nemesis. Ooh, ah. And the first thing that I'm going to do with my red nemesis is sand it down and paint it red. So a lot of people are going to question why I took something that was already red and painted it gray so that I could turn around and then paint it red again. And it's all about the quality of paint before you hydro dip. So before I show you a first look at Sauron in its completed form, which is of course going to be my end war primary, I wanted to give a quick shout out to my guys over at Headshot Ammo. Really, really appreciate their hookup. Not only are they kind of supporting end war by showcasing all of their stuff there, but they sent all of this ammo for me to use at the event, which is awesome. It's one less thing for me to worry about. And the red and yellow hybrid rounds are going to be pretty unique. I don't know how many people will be running around with them specifically, so I can fill up and fire gratuitously knowing that a lot of them will come back. That's one of the really neat things about how many different color options that they have. This video is not necessarily sponsored by Headshot Ammo, but I definitely felt like shouting them out because their ammo is cheaper than rival ammo and in a lot of ways comes in better quantities with more stuff. When you buy from them, you get an ammo pouch and a variety of colors, whereas when you get it directly from Hasbro, you get yellow and plastic and garbage. So this is pretty cool. We're gonna load this up all the way and then we'll snap it into Sauron here. And that is you guys' first look at my primary. Let's take it outside and do a firing demo. Oh man, this is so cool. Alrighty guys, so I am so stoked to show you Sauron. Sauron is my primary. It is of course a fully modified nerf rival nemesis. It's a nemesis that has that kind of a metallic red coat underneath and then the top coat is uh, 2K clear so it's very well protected. I love the way that, that metallic flake changes the black on these things. It has a base coat of vinyl dye, etc. and so forth. There's only one flaw in the dip that I could find easily and that's that I ran out of dip. Here. Right here, I just ran out of film, so I signed it down here instead of my usual place on the handle. The vampire film is great. Again, I've used this film before. It's used on Sanguine, so it matches. I really, really dig the overall aesthetic. These logos are, of course, from my man Avery of uh, Custom 3D Nerf. He does my vinyl work for me, and so it says Sauron on both sides. A fitting name for a menacing nemesis in, in red and all sorts of like terrific power. These are of course my uh, headshot ammo rounds. I've gone ahead and loaded those up and I brought a reload, but it's powered off of 3S, which is plenty for these stock motors. I have yet to burn out these stock motors on my old Nemesis, which was Team Blue. And so after giving that away and checking the brushes on it, I was very happy with its overall performance and the consistency and the longevity of those motors. So this is running identical internals. You can see here in the back end, I did hydro dip the uh, battery door as well so that it would match. We've got just a monstrous 3S in here. When I'm using it at end war, it will be 
uh, foam filled inside here just so that it's not rattling around. That is the one downside of the large leads is that it just kind of goes everywhere. But I've set up a few cups here and a few cups over there because cups are Nerf's mortal enemy. Why not? And let's show you what it really uh, can do and what it looks like. We're still working on a very custom sort of hopper attachment for this, but I wanted the sleeker profile for the blaster for End War as it is a humans versus zombies event. What a massacre. Oh my goodness. So you can see that I was actually able to aim the shots well enough to pick off the pyramid moving down it, which is pretty awesome. Like, I, I absolutely love the Nemesis. While we're walking over here, we'll give this a quick tactical top off. This is tricky without the funnel, but you can get used to it as long as you're comfortable, just like an actual speedball spilling part of your ammo. So slide that closed. Now there is no lock here. This still works perfectly fine, but I'd rather them not get agitated out. Let's knock down these cups next. Did I fill it too much? So again, like the one downside to using a Nemesis is that your fire rate is not as consistent as a Chaos, but I've just littered my lawn with all of this foamy carnage, and I am so stoked to fight zombies with Sauron. Like, this is going to be one awesome primary. It looks good. It's very responsive. Those switches are awesome, awesome stuff. They give you a very clicky, very nice response. It even almost has an immediate response if you forget to rev. You can see there that I did not hit the rev switch, I just hit the trigger, and it's so snappy, in fact, off of that 3S LiPo that you almost don't need the rev switch. You could have hooked them up to the same switch. I did not do that because I'm so hardwired for rev switches at this point, but I'm glad that it's an option. This was added just so that it didn't look funky with a hole in it, but I've completely omitted the safety because I'm a SIG guy and... I don't need a safety. Um, anyway, that is Sauron. I'm super stoked to take it to End War. I can't wait to blast Zeds with it. I hope you guys enjoyed the build and the dip. It was very, very challenging to dip something this large with a backyard hydrographics tank, which is really just a storage bin from Walmart. So hopefully you enjoyed, hopefully you appreciate all the work that went into this. I've done so many of these different processes in the past that coming up on this end screen, you will have a link to my Nemesis mod guide and a link to Sanguine, which is a full flywheel build that looks very similar to this. But really appreciate you guys watching this video and supporting what I love to do. <laughs> Much love, Nerf on, Drac out.